Here we are in chapter four, review exercises, numbers 13 through uh, 18. These are word problems, and we are at the translation one. So let's work on translation, then we'll work them out. Uh, let's try number 13 right down here, number 13. It says, I've created a triangular garden, so we should draw the shape. Indeed, the largest side, this guy right down here, L, is five meters less than twice the smallest. Okay, good. Five meters less than twice the smallest. Oh, good. And the medium side, this one right here, medium is going to be uh, 17 larger than the smallest side. Good. So we just made a sentence out of that one. If the total perimeter of the garden is 208, well, this must be the small side right there. So 108, no, 208 is the total perimeter of the garden. That's the small plus the medium plus the large side. So here we have the medium right here is going to go right there. This is substitution. Look, we have one, two, three equations. And now we're going to substitute these guys right in here and have 208 equals s plus the medium, which is 17 plus s plus 2s minus 5. And look where we are. Happy math land. We've taken it from this English phraseology up here down into an equation with one variable. Perfect. S plus S plus 2S, that's 4S, and plus 12 equals 208. Subtract 12 and we get 4S equals 196. So the small side has to be, divide that and we get 49. Alrighty, so if the small side is 49, we're not done yet because that means the medium side is uh, 17 plus s, so that must be 66. And the large side is 2 times 49 is 98 minus 5 is 93. Alrighty, so are we in meters or feet or whatever? It looks like we are in meters. So small is medium. Yeah, there is small, 49 meters, medium, 66 meters, and large, <coughs> 93 meters. Excellent. All right, so number 14. If a rectangle's length is 4 millimeters more than 4 times the width. All right, okay, so the length is 4 more than 4 times the width. That's good. So if we have a rectangle over here, we have the width here and the length here is 4 plus 4w. Good. So we wrote that down. Perimeter is 58. That's something good that we need to know. Now what's the formula for perimeter? Uh, perimeter is 2l plus 2w. So we know that this is 58. And look, substitution, well, right here, the L is already solved for, so you get to su substitute that right in there. 2 times 4 plus 4W um, plus 2W. All righty, so this is 58 equals, distribute that in, 8 plus 8W plus 2W. Notice right here, you might want to take a moment and pause and reflect and say, hey, I'm there. I have an equation. I've come out of the English language and turned it right into Mathland language. So 58 equals 8 plus 10w. Excellent, that's 58. So subtract 8 from both sides and we get 50 equals 10w. So that means w equals 5. So if w is 5, that's great. Let's change colors right here and highlight that. w is 5, so that means the length is 4 plus 4 times 5, which is... 24. 24. So it is 24. It's a 5 by 24. Now are these, these are millimeters. So let's put mm down there. There we go. So mm. So number 14. Good. Number 15. Let's uh, work on that one down at the bottom. It says three types of bears are in a national park. The number of grizzlies I'm guessing we're going to be looking for grizzlies eventually. G is three more than twice the number of black bears. And the number of panda bears, so that'll be a P, is 70 more than the total number of black bears. There are a total of 597 bears in the park. How many of each kind are there? So we're going to need grizzly, panda, and the other kind is black bears. So we have a G, a P, and a B. Let's see if we can write these equations. So we get uh, grizzly bears 
is three more than twice the number of black bears. Okay, there's one equation. Second equation, panda is 70 more than uh, the number of black bears. So that's just a 70 plus a B. Now it says there are a total of 597 kind of bears in the 597 bears in the park. So that is that the grizzly plus the panda plus the oh that was the black plus the panda have to equal 597. Yes, there's our equation. Now let's see if we can put these things in. No, we have three equations and we have three variables. These two are already solved for, so it makes a lot of sense to do the substitution one right there. And the 70 plus B goes in for the P right there. So we have the grizzlies, which is three plus twice the number of black, plus the black bears, plus the pandas, which is 70 plus the number of black, equals 597. And yeah, by that substitution, we now have an equation with one variable in it. We can do this one. 2, 3, 4, B plus 73 equals 597. Uh, subtract 73 from both sides, and we get 4, B equals 524. So what does that mean? That means the number of black bears is um, 131. Is that right? Yeah, 131 black bears. And then now we stick this back in here to find the number of grizzlies. So the number of grizzlies would be 3 plus 2 times this. 3 plus uh, 2 times 131. So 2 times 131 is 262 plus 3 is 265. And then the number of pandas would be then be 70 plus this. So 70 plus 131 equals 201. So we have 131 black bears, grizzly bears, and panda bears. Great. All right, number 16. Let's see what we get with number 16. It says two numbers add to 57 and subtract to 13. What are the two numbers? Well, okay, so we got to pick variables, x and y, good. And it says they add to 57. x plus y equals 57. And it says subtract to 13. So that means x minus y equals 13. Can we solve this? Yes, this is great. This is set up just to do a nice, uh, what do you call it, elimination. If we add these two equations together, we get 2x, y's go away, equal uh, 70. So that means that x equals 35. Well, we're not done yet. It says, what are the two numbers? So 35 plus what equals 57? Let's put that in. 35 plus y equals 37. Subtract 35 over, and we get y equals, uh, ha, oops, 57. Thank you. It equals 22. So notice, do they add to 57? Do they subtract to 13? Bingo! That is absolutely correct. All right, let's clear this up and do 17 and 18 down here. All right, number 17. Three consecutive odd integers. So that's x. Then the next odd one is not x plus 1, but x plus 2. And the next one would have to be 2 up from that one, so x plus 4. So three consecutive odd integers add to 261. Uh, okay, and that's our equation right there. That's wonderful. So we get 1, 2, 3x uh, plus 6 equals 261. Subtract 6, 3x equals 255. And divide by 3, divide by 3. x is, let me see, 85, I think. So that means x is 85. The next one up is 87, and the next one up is 89. There you have it. 85, 87, and 89. Okay, uh, number 18. Three consecutive even integers. So let's write them out. We have x, x plus 2, and x plus 4. Now, some of you may wonder, wait a second. When we did odd integers, we added by 2 and then 4. Why are we doing the same thing with even integers? Well, because if you start odd, to get to the next odd one, you have to skip an even. 
if you start with even to get to the next even, you have to skip an odd. So these are our three consecutive integers. Now you could have done a, b, and c and said b is x plus 2 and c is x plus 4 or something like that, but it works out pretty well like this. Are such that the sum of the smaller two, so these guys, x plus x plus 2, that's the sum of the smaller two, is 42 less than, so subtracting 42 from, 3 times the largest. Woo! You may have to read that again. Three consecutive integers, we named them right there with variables, are such that the sum of the smaller two, that's these guys right here, is, right here, equals 42 less than 3 times the largest. Yeah, so now we have an equation. Look, we can do this. 2x plus 2 equals uh, 3x plus 12 minus 42. So subtract, uh, let me see. Uh, let's simplify it. 2x plus 2 equals 3x minus 30. So if we subtract 2x over here, we'll get x. Add 30 over there, we get 32. So that means this guy was 32, this guy was 34, and that guy was 36. And you can check that out to see if this plus this is 42 less than 3 times 36. And it will actually work. So there you have 13 through 18.